Okay, guys, hey, uh, this is Retro Junkie. I'm back here to uh, test out V Man's uh, latest Pi 4 image on my 8 bit game box product with the Pi 4 installed inside. Let me just pop this off here. I'll show you. There it is, right there. We got the Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model, of course. Um, and I'm just going to do kind of a quick go through here, prove it works. And this is all on the same box that you can put a Pi 3B plus in. Um, just a couple adapters are needed and you're good to go. Let's power this on. All right, here we go. I'll use my Logitech controller wireless. Boot up is, uh... There we go. Should have some audio here soon. Let me have to turn it down. Let's turn that down a little bit. You know it's a little bit of scratchy sound in the video. Um, it does this for all videos, doesn't matter what it is. It's kind of a known problem with the 3.5 millimeter jack. Just during boot up, but once ES loads, um, it works beautiful. It's clean, it's clear, it doesn't have a static, it sounds great. So until the guys fix it uh, at the Raspberry Pi Foundation, we're kind of stuck. But it's not a game changer, really. Game over, man. Game over. All right, there we go. So basically, I've already configured my controller. Let me get this going here. There we go. Okay, and yeah, I'm gonna one hand this. Try to get the glare off of it. Okay, there we go. Now I can go ahead and turn on, I'm gonna turn on the LED light. There you go. Now you see the Raspberry Pi 4 doing its thing down there. Looks great. These two buttons I'm gonna switch out for yellow, uh, LED yellow. They're not as bright as the blue. They'll go better with the color scheme. And then of course the um, SD mount will be right around here. Um, I'm still testing the uh, SD card extension for now. I may have a problem with the manufacturer on that, um, but uh, I'm still working on it, so don't worry. It's good to go. Anyhow, here's V-Man's latest Raspberry Pi 4 image. And let's see here, let's go to uh, all games. There's basically a total of 12,606 games. Uh, but right now it's playing great. Um, I had some problems at the beginning, but I found out I had a, she had a bad Raspberry Pi 4. Um, it was bad out of the box, but this, this new one's working great. So we've got ports, we've got Amiga with 647 games. We've got Amiga CD32, 25 games, CPC, uh, 114 games, arcade classics, of course, about 1,730 games. All the Atari, just a standard list. This Atomus Wave is really nice. There's uh, nine games on that. Commodore 64, of course, ColecoVision, Daphne, Dreamcast, 86 games, Family Computer, you name it, this thing is loaded um, with handhelds all the way to consoles to arcades. It's fantastic. 783 games on Sega Genesis. Nintendo 64, we got a whopping 294 games. Naomi, we've got 33 games. Nintendo DS, 252 games. Really cool. Uh, they actually play really good, too. Um, all your classic consoles. Open board, pretty neat. We got 61 games. PlayStation Portable, 131 games. The Mini, 200 games. Uh, PlayStation, a whopping 412 games. It just goes on and on and on. Um, Virtual Boy, it's got really everything you can think of. He's also got um, <clears throat> the uh, games listed here by like all the Super Mario games, Mega Man games, Metroid games. Pretty cool. And then, of course, V-Man's own arcade uh, selection he's got here. Racing games. Shoot 'em ups. 
<clears throat> Favorites, last played in Cody, of course. Cody is great because, like I said, you can watch YouTube. You can put your movies, music, and pictures in. Plug a USB thumb drive in and stream it right on this box. Pretty slick. Anyhow, uh, let's go into uh, let's go into options real quick. I want to show you guys the new V-Man build post fix. Right there, if you can see it. So when you want to run his fixes, you hit that. Comes up. Welcome to Virtual Man's Post Fixes and Optimization Menu. Very simple. Hit OK. <clears throat> and then you want to apply the update, you can hit OK or exit. I've already done it, so I'll just exit out of here. Um, but that's very easy to do. Um, and of course, all the normal stuff in here. You know, he's got. Um, you can add more Hursty things. You can remove Hursty things. So that's pretty slick. That's good to go. You know, we can change the ES theme by going to UI settings. Whoops. We want to go down to, let's see, I got Super Sweet on right now. Uh, we can do, now let's do Twisted Metal. How about that? Hit back. And it should load up the Twisted Metal theme. There it is. Boom. Really cool. Yeah, fantastic. Um, but anyhow, I know B-Man's done live streams and showing off the games and everything, but uh, it's not a big deal. You know, um, all these are just great to play. Um, you know, one of them, let's see here, if you go to Atomic Wave, uh, Blue Dolphin is, of course, really neat. Let me see if I can get that to play for you guys. Hit the uh, enter on that. We've got the game loading up. Nice. There it is, Blue Dolphin. It's a fun game. Plays actually really good on this uh, Pi 4. It's a little loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. There you go. As you can see, it's a real cool game. Plays great on the game box, you know. The Pi Forge is fantastic. Yeah, it works great. You know, sound, everything works great. Then back out of there. Um, but yeah, overall, real slick image. Uh, everything's clean, it runs great. The post-fix update is easy uh, to do, very easy to do. Um, the Raspberry Pi 4 image from V-Man was released with RetroPie 4.5.14. Um, they're now up to actually 4.5.17. There's been a couple updates just back-to-back. -back. They're knocking them out uh, over there, so that's going to be pretty easy to update. Um, other than that, I think that's about it, guys. Um, you can do a screensaver. You can dim it. You know, it's got your normal sound settings you know you can change the volume um but uh real slick so here's more pr here's just proof that the pi 4 uh 4 gigabyte with the v-man latest pi 4 image is working on my game box um so i think i'm going to offer two options you know, if you want just a straight Pi 4 and you want the Pi 4 included, uh, we only will sell the 4 gigabyte, not the 1 or 2 gig. There's no point. Uh, the more memory, the better. So if you want a Pi 4, 4 gigabyte, 8-bit game box, you know, we can pre-install it. We'll test it, of course. All you have to do is add the image and some controllers. You're good to go. Uh, the reason why we don't offer controllers is because it's just... Uh, it's just more of a custom thing for each person, what they want. 
you know, and you've got your favorite controllers of what you do and what you like and you don't like. And then, you know, um, you can buy them, you know, wireless or wired. It, it's kind of a, uh, a personal thing. So we just, you know, you, you provide your own controllers. You just buy the case from us all ready to go. Uh, we can include the Pi 3B Plus or the Pi 4, 4 gigabyte. Those will be the only two options we offer. Um, but it makes sense. The Pi 3B Plus with the, uh, the V-Man 400 gig image is fantastic. It plays fantastic on it as well. I've done a video on that already. You've seen that play. Um, but that is coming down the pipe here soon. Uh, let's see if I go to, for example, Game Boy Advanced. We can pick a game. You know, let's just pick uh, here. Action Man's Fun. A little load up intro screen there, and then it goes right into the thing. Now, V Man did create a larger uh, screen this time. Instead of having the screen shrunk down the middle, um, he gave more real estate. So we have a larger screen to play all the handheld games. So, really cool. Nothing to it. You can turn off, if you don't want the light on, you can turn it on and off. We've got player one, two, three, four here. And then keep in mind, this whole box here. Everything will be, from here on out, this whole thing will be black acrylic, shiny black. So it's going to be beautiful. You're going to have the company logo here in the middle. You'll still have the icons here and the SD card mount here. But everything will be black acrylic with, you know, basically the stickers on it to show what's what. Um, this will probably stay the same, the bezel itself around the screen. But it's going to be beautiful, real nice. And I've already got the boxes made. Um, it's just a matter of uh, fine-tuning everything and making sure the stickers line up with my buttons and the uh, USB mount down here. Um, of course, you're going to have USB 2.0 and then 3.0 here. Right now, they're all 2.0, but this was um, made for the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. The Pi 4, of course, has two 3.0 ports. I'm going to change these out on the, on the next release. Um, that will be sold from here on out. So that's not a problem at all. And you can also even downgrade it. Um, if you buy the case and you don't want to go Pi 4, but you want Pi 3B+, plus, that's no problem. We're going to go ahead and include the little adapters you need to upgrade it to Pi 4. Um, it'll be a uh, micro USB to USB-C for power. And it's going to be a micro HDMI to standard HDMI for the video. Um, all audio is through the 3.5 millimeter jack right down there. That's all the same, so there's no cables needed for that that are uh, used between the two different Pi's. They use the same cable. Other than that, it's, it's, uh, it'll be ready to go, guys. It'll be Pi 3, B+, and Pi 4 compatible, all of it. Um, and you can specify which one you want. Uh, right now, we've been selling the Pi 3, B+, uh, pretty good. And most everybody has wanted the Pi 3B Plus included, even though they may have one at home, this way you get another one and you can just leave it dedicated to the box. And like I said, we mount it, we test it, everything before we ship it. Um, prices for the box right now for the Pi 3B Plus is about $479. That includes the Pi 3B Plus and priority mail shipping with delivery confirmation and insurance. The Pi 4, of course, will be up to probably um, five, uh, 579 um, because it is more expensive computer and it does take the adapters um, to get those, uh, you know, working for the Pi 4. It'll be like 579 with that one uh, shipped out the door. Um, still killer. Well worth it. Uh, I've seen people sell things like this for 350 bucks, And it was just a makeshift homemade junk where they just screwed a screen in the top and just, you know, put in like cardboard cutout and dividers for the controllers it was it was horrible but people were paying 350 for those this here is actually professionally done um you know it's more of a, a hands-on project meaning that it's been you know cad designed um we use a laser uh cnc machine and um you know everything's cut out with a laser so it's precise you know we can adjust things as needed um, but it's, it's good to go so anyhow there it is check it out I'll just kick this on real quick. Here's the game, Action Man. You know, all works great. I've got the volume low, but you can really crank it up if you want. I'll go ahead and back out of here. But yeah, V-Man's Pi 4 image is working great. Um, once I got past a bad a bad computer here, 
uh, everything's running great. So I think that's it. Uh, any questions, hit me up. Um, as you can see, you know, those of you that have been around for a while, you know, V-Man's images are some of the best out right now. So, you know, we got open bore. You got everything you can think of. Turn it up a little bit. Background music playing. Um, but that was the big thing. I just want to show you the post script, uh, the post fix script that V-Man came up with. Uh, it's a game changer. Now he can take care of things and all we got to do is just run that script. And uh, it saves us all a bunch of time, headaches, questions, you know, everything. Go into options. V-Man build post fixes right there. Um, I want to say congratulations to uh, V-Man, of course, for another great job. Hours and hours, days and days, weeks to get this built. Um, a, lot of, a lot of stuff he's done just, you know, purely because he loves to give and it's free, uh, free to everybody. Um, a tip a tip to V-Man makes sense. If you guys can uh, stop by the Tapa Talk forum and give him a tip um, just for his time. You know, the, the image, of course, is cost nothing. It's, there's no charges at all. Um, I want to make a big thank you, shout out to Tuplay uh, for his base image. You know, him and V-Man work together to fix crazy little problems. And uh, Hursty for his image, his themes. Uh, just fantastic. So, Tuplay, V-Man, Hursty. Um, you know, great work again, guys. Um, especially uh, V-Man and Tuplay. Like I said, this wouldn't be possible without these guys. Um, so, we, we appreciate it. And again, thank you very much for watching. Check it out. Let me know if you're interested. These are going to be going up on a website here. I'm hoping within the next month. Uh, most of you are going to be locked in your home anyway with the coronavirus, so you might as well get one and set in game. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Catch you later.